What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be just taking a quick look at the new feature that they added which is the legacy transfer right so we'll talk about the adding player skills in a separate video but we will talk about the legacy transfer now right so this is defined if you go to extras help and general information so we're just going to show you this very very easily um <clears throat> with the general information here and you go down to the bottom here this is where you can see everything the legacy transfer is a feature which allows you to pass on a player's experience points everything that you've trained into that card um in with his progression points and the trainer points and all that the trainer xp and additional skills to another player to perform legacy transfer you will need to spend a certain amount of gp corresponding to the player you're transferring from once the action is complete the player will be erased from your my team note that experience points above the level limit and player skills that the player on the receiving end already possesses will not be passed on right so very simply right if we go back out here and it's going to show you as quickly as possible how to do this and not make it complicated because there's a lot of kind of people over complicating this and kind of getting confused about it right so the first thing is you're going to pick the player that you want to that you want to train up right so say for example with us we want to sort out a player um that we have recently signed or we want to sort out a player that we have you know that we want to to boost up um we're going to be taking a look at all of these players that we have here but if you have got somebody in mind that you want to train up right if you get somebody that you definitely know that you want to train up you're going to have to do two things right the first one is that you're going to have to pick whatever player that you want to have um trained up so say we wanted to train up this guy Percassi, who's a right back or else his uh, his father uh antonio Percassi here say we want to train up this right back here right he's got 33 levels to go when we go into player progression here you will see that we've got zero progression points okay so the old way of kind of training this up or the, the it still it still works is you can go into level training here and you can give him level trainer progression points right and he's going to take forty thousand trainer points to, to boost up to max to get him to 33 levels right now when we actually go to this here we can go to legacy transfer right when we press legacy transfer on this okay these are the players all of these players that we have here work very similar to the old pez style um trainers right that you're able to kind of like use these players you don't have to release them you basically use these players okay against the player that you already have okay so for example right if we are looking to train up a center back we can just sort this out obviously it doesn't need to be a center back but let's just say for the purposes of this video if we wanted to train up and this guy he's going to take about forty thousand gp we already know that right so we don't need to train up any more than that so any players that we have that we want to just get rid of we can actually train him up now you'll see there the number of additional skills right this only comes into uh contention when he has these cards have player skills that the other player doesn't have and there's some uh player skills that the, that each player can't get based on position or whatever like that so for example if we were to train up any of these players we're only going to get a certain amount of bonus points for it so i mean basically it's for people that like all of these that are in, are in eligible here um they're just players in our squad that we have that are going to be able to be trained towards so for example if you train the likes of you know standard version vinicius jr here which we've already used it's only going to give us 3700 points right so that's got, not going to be enough really to train right but what you can do is um there's no additional skills that are being learned because we're obviously not going to be able to train any of the additional skills because we haven't given these additional skills to any of the players right so if we go into legacy transfer here and we give um if we were to train him up instead uh of any of these players that we have here all the players that we're going to be going here you will see that romario has got an additional skill which is chip shot control right so the idea behind this in my opinion is that you will be able to train players right and we'll go into this in a future video for the purposes of this to keep it as simple as possible all we're going to be doing here is training the players up and once you train the players up they will be deleted so any of these trainer candidates that are down here they will be deleted so if we train edder militao right and we confirm it this is what's going to happen he's going to go up 23 levels but he's not going to get any additional skills because he doesn't have additional skills the additional skills are separate to the player skills the additional skills we'll cover in a future video but that is the different um the different skills that you train the extra skills that you train right so when we actually perform the legacy transfer it's going to delete and uh, militao take him from our take him from our squad it's going to finish the legacy transfer on Percassi, and then Percassi is going to now have 
all these points to go, right? So we can decide to train him up however we see fit. And there you have it. You've got 44 progression points and 23 levels to go. And then obviously you can rinse and repeat that if you want. You can continue to do that as much as you possibly you know, can to get a player. Now, obviously, this is going to come into fruition that, let's say, for example, I wanted, I got a new version of Romario. I could release, I could transfer this old Romario towards my new Romario and it would carry forward his additional skills, which is chip shot control. So as you get more and more skills, the chances are that if you give somebody a player skill and because it is random, we'll cover that in a separate video, but because it is random, you don't get to pick what player skills that you put on a player. But let's just say you get blocker with a player that's like a 75 overall or whatever. You can do the legacy transfer and it will transfer the player skills over to that new player. So if I was to transfer the legacy transfer of Mario against Percassi, Percassi would get that chip shot control additional skill because it takes forward the experience points and it also takes forward the number of additional skills. So I like it. I think it's kind of a fairly cool um, thing that they've added. Like if we just show you here again, it is going to cost GP to do. Um, and I would definitely recommend, you know, probably train players that you no longer use. You know, it's not going to be really worth your while if you haven't trained the players up because you're going to be releasing them from practically nothing. Um, also, you are tied a little bit with that as well with the players. So say if we were to release any of these standard version players here, um, we can do that. You know what I mean? And it's just going to transfer over uh, the skills uh, or the, the GP or whatever. The GP is going to cost us GP. That didn't transfer over anything there because there isn't enough player points. But you could do a combination of this. Um, if you were by, kind of a bit light on that, instead of it costing you 40,000 trainers, it could literally just cost you, you know, what? Like 21,000 or 20,200 or 300. So that is something just to keep in mind if you are looking to do that. And then you can just train the player away as normal. So that's just a really quick one. As I said there, it does. Um, that has been added in V2.5. So let me know what you think of that and let me know if you have any other questions in it. I think it's fairly self-explanatory, but, um, you know, they did first mention this in the V2.5 update, uh, which was here. And they talked about it, that they're going to be also giving you a chance deal. So make sure and check your inbox for that. But the stuff that I think um, that needs to be added is they need to find a way to be able to add, um, you know, chosen stats out of it or chosen player skills out of it. But that is legacy transfer lads i will be back in a bit as i said it's very easy you do have those extra two pages now you've got your legacy transfer and you've got your skill training the skill training we will cover in a separate video so keep it locked on the channel keep subscribed to the channel and we will be back quite soon with another video until next time lads hope you enjoyed the content my voice is gone from a six hour live stream but we will see you guys again tomorrow friday the 14th of april back with another banger of a stream and that is it for me peace